guys so I already started filming this video I was like halfway through the first bag and realized that my camera was not recording it's recording now so I'm wiping swatches off because we have to start again I've missed you guys so much I mean like so stinking much for those of you that don't know sorry I'm like working and talking um, I was in LA for um, Generation Beauty. I was there from Wednesday, or no, Thursday morning until Wednesday. So I've been gone. I know you guys have been so patient with me. I am so sorry. I promise I will never go away for that long. I wanted to get videos up while I was gone, and I pre-recorded three videos, but my MacBook is just a mess. It's like so just overloaded. I need to get an external hard drive. Anyway, I was so busy also. I don't even know that I would have had time if my computer would have allowed it. But I was in California with Manny. I stayed with him. We had a blast. I don't think I've ever laughed so hard in my life. But I missed you guys. I mean missed you. Like I would wake up and just like my heart would sink because I'm like I know I'm not going to be able to get a video up today and I I want to sit I wanted to sit down so bad and just talk to you guys. So that's what this video is going to be. It's not going to be very structured. It's just going to be me telling you about my LA experience and showing you my swag. Swag. That is swag. Generation Beauty, if you guys don't know, it's an event like a beauty blogger event. There's different brands there that you can kind of network with and make connections and, you know, check out their products. It was so much fun. The event was very organized. It wasn't overcrowded and it was just great. It was one of the nicest events that I think I've been to. So yeah, it was a success. I had such an amazing time Aside from the fact that I missed you guys so much and I wasn't able to get videos up, my whole LA experience was just the best. And I'm going to be back out in LA from June 23rd until like the 30th. I'm going back out for fame and I'm also going to be out there doing some work. Work. Um, I can't tell you guys about it right now, but it's probably the biggest opportunity that I've had since starting my channel. So I am so excited. I really want to tell you guys, I know that you're going to love it. I cannot wait. So excited. So yeah, I'm just going to go through and show you guys what I got. This video is going to be extremely long because I'm feeling very chatty. And I have a ton of crap to show you guys. So if you're not into long, just like girl talk, boy talk videos, you're not going to like this one. It's, it's not a tutorial. It's nothing. It's just me talking. And that can be quite annoying. So if you don't like that, peace out and come back for the next one. Okay, let's get started. What was this? Okay, so I went on Friday. I got to LA on Thursday. And Thursday night, Manny and his brother Nick came, oh my gosh, from the second, now I had met Manny before I met him at LA IMATS in January, but from the second he walked in the room, we just laughed for six days. I mean, it just never stopped. He is the sweetest, just nicest, I don't even know how to describe him. He's like a puppy in man form. He's just so sweet and he's never mean. He's just always happy and laughing and fun. Such a beautiful, happy, good spirit. You know, do you ever meet people that just have this like aura about them? That's the only way I can describe it. He's just one of a kind. Love him from the bottom of my heart. I bawled when he left. I didn't want him to leave. I was like, no, stay with me two more days because he left on Monday and I didn't head back here until Wednesday. But I recovered. I survived. So, yeah, anyway, what, how, where was I going with that? Oh, Friday we had a pre party. It was like a cocktail party before Generation Beauty. Um, I had a self tanning disaster, actually a spray tanning disaster. Brilliant me decided that I was going to get a spray tan like four hours before the event, which was fine. You know, that's enough time to kind of swing it as long as you're not wearing a white dress. So I get the spray tan. It looks gorgeous. I'm getting ready. 
and I start to put my makeup on, not even thinking, I took my beauty blender and just like plopped it on my neck. I had the biggest white patch on my neck. So we're trying to fix it. I must have had like eight different products on my neck. I had like a spray foundation, like the Dior Airspun. Let me shut my computer because it's making noise. So many different things on my neck. Self tanner, loving tan, all kinds of stuff. And for some reason, the self tanner mixed with the foundations kind of turned green. So I had this huge green, like nasty, it looked like I had leprosy or something really disgusting. And Manny does not mince words. Like he was, I would ask him, I'm like, how's my neck? And he'd be like, oh girl, it's not good. So I'm like, I love you so much for being so like blunt and honest with me because most people would be like oh no it's fine it looks great Manny was like uh if you take that jean jacket off we're done like do not let anyone see your neck it was hilarious like, if you guys follow me on snapchat you saw Manny and I like dying laughing out of control so I'm at the generation beauty cocktail party with this green neck terrible. So anyway, they gave us a humongous bag. I don't even have everything in here. I have some of it already out on my table, but they gave us this bag packed full of stuff. It's, it was like 30 pounds. I'm like, what the heck is happening? So the first thing I have is this bag. It's a little makeup bag. I already started taking everything out of it just to kind of save time. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. I feel like I've said that about 5,000 times already. Okay, so first I have this City Color bronzer. And I'm not going to go through and like open everything and swatch everything because honestly we would be here for six hours. But I will just kind of briefly go through. If you see anything that you want a video on or you want me to use in a get ready with me, just let me know in the comments. So this one's in the shade Sunrise. Let me open it really pretty. Look, it has like a little palm tree. Oh, that's so cute. I also have this palette from Cargo. This is the box. It's called the Essentials. This is really nice. It's a very nice like basic matte, not matte, um, neutral palette. So that's what it looks like. There's an eyeliner and a little brush in here, but isn't that just like a nice, just basic palette? Yeah, I think it is. So yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for everything. You guys know me. Makeup just freaking excites me. And I have this Ardell Pro Brow Defining Kit. So it comes with a wax, a spoolie, and then brow powders. Hmm, I think this is new. I've never seen this in stores, but they gave it to us. So I hope it's nice. I mean, Ardell's a good brand, so it should be. And, oh, look at this. This is such a cute little thing. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but the packaging is adorable. The brand is Tracestique. Did you guys ever hear of this brand? Tracestique? I think I'm saying that right. It's uh, like a cheek and lip tint. It's called Bora Bora Coral Color and Contour Cheek Stick. Look how cute this is, right? It looks like a big fat crayon. I love it. So, this is what it looks like see it here I'll swatch it for you guys even though I said I wasn't gonna do swatches it's just like a peachy orange 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 people in California were making fun of my accent um not making fun of it but you know just like cracking jokes okay what else do I have um oh I have a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara which I think is gonna go into my 100k giveaway if I ever hit 100K, I will get the giveaway up for you guys. But there is a ton of stuff already in it. But I'm going to add a little bit more to it because I do not need all this stuff. You guys know that. Oh, I have this Pixie. It's called the Palette. Wait, Palette Bronzette in Summer Glow. I love Pixie. I think they're a really, really good brand. If I could ever get this open, that's what it looks like. I like this shade right here, of course. I go right for the highlight shade. But look how nice that is. And you could also wear it as an eyeshadow. I think that's a really adorable palette. So I got that little baby. I'm going to run out of room. I'm going to have to put some stuff on my bed. I also got some Ardell Demi Wispies. I'm wearing some Wispies right now, Demi Wispies. 
Um, you guys know I'm not big on lashes. I've been transformed, and I'm going to tell you why. I normally hate the inner part of lashes. Like, they poke me, they pop off, they drive me crazy. I've been cutting off the very inner, like, corner of the lash and just wearing them, like, three quarters. They're just, like, three-quarter lashes, and it makes it... It makes the hugest difference. I'm telling you guys, if you're really bad at applying lashes, just cut off a little bit from the inner corner and make them like three quarter length. So much easier. I don't know why that little tiny bit makes the biggest difference. I have them on today, just like three quarters, and they still look, I mean, it looks like a full strip of lashes, but a thousand times easier. So that's my tip for the day. Yay, lashes. I also got the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I think I may keep this one for myself. I love this guy. Love it. I'm going to start tossing on the bed. Duke's not here. He's downstairs. We ordered Chinese food for dinner, and he is steady trying to find the shrimp. Just, yeah, he's not here. Um, I got the Fearless Blush from Tarte, and I don't have this one. It's a really pretty pink shade. I love Tarte blushes. Yay. Mm. And then I got this lipstick. I don't know the brand. I don't know how to say it, but I'll put it up on the screen. I don't want to totally just jack it up. Um, the weird thing is, the lipstick is black. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not very universal. I don't know many people that wear black lipstick, but it's called Midnight. And if I ever need a black lipstick, I now have one. I mean, it's straight up black. It's not like a dark navy. This shit is black. And then I have a few products from Chella. They gave us two of their, oh geez, where's the other one? They did give us two of their highlighting pencils just to like highlight your brow bone. And then they also gave us this little eyebrow pencil, which I'm really, really excited about. It's like the same size as the brow is. It's really tiny. And the shade looks really, really nice. So I have my fingers crossed for this guy because my NYX micro brow is just about empty. So I got this little guy right here. And then Pacifica put in a little deeply devoted natural lipstick. And this is in the shade Natural Mystic. And it's like a brick red shade. Oh, it smells kind of nice. Not really my shade, but... I'm not going to swatch it because I might put it in the giveaway. Oh, and then from Buxom, they gave us this little eyeshadow palette. So adorable for traveling. Right? It's just like a really nice neutral palette. My hands are crazy tonight. But the funny thing is, on the back of this palette, it says may contain nudity. Like porno nudity. I don't know why it says that. Is that what it's called? Maybe the palette's called May Contain Nudity? No idea, but I just thought that that was a little random. Can you guys see that? I don't know. But the palette itself is cute. That's what really matters. Moving on. And then IT Cosmetics, where is that little bag they gave us? Here it is. IT Cosmetics put in this little bag, and this was filled with products. I just have them sitting out. Um, I love this bag. Look, it has this little tassel. It's so cute. Um, and in that bag was this guy, which is the Bye Bye Pores Poreless Finish HD Micro Powder, which is just like a loose powder. I've heard it's really good for, um, oh my god, I totally lost my train of thought. It's good for, like, concealing pores. So yeah, you guys will see that in a video. They also gave us the Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. My brows are going to be very, very happy. Oh, I can't get it out. That's what she looks like. This is so cute. I love the packaging. It's like a silver, like metal. It's really nice. And it just has a spoolie and then the brow pencil. So yeah, if you guys have been interested, I'll keep you posted. And they gave us two brushes. The first one is this number seven Complexion Perfection Concealer double-sided brush. They're so soft. Their brushes are like freaking silk. Yay, I love it, cosmetics brushes. And then this one is the Heavenly Luxe Airbrush Powder and Bronzer Number One Brush. You guys cannot even imagine 
how soft this is. Oh my god, it feels so good. It's so soft. It's so soft. And then I have the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes. Look how weird this packaging is. I think it's kind of cool. It reminds me of like a pencil when you were in grade school and you didn't know how to hold your pencil. They would put that little plastic thing on it to help you. That's what it reminds me of. But the wand kind of looks like they're real from Benefit. So, I don't know. I may like it. I think I've heard nice things about this. This would be good for a first impression. Maybe? Yes? You better say yes. Don't yell at people. Too early. And then they gave us the Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I've never been a big fan of this. But I think I'm going to give it another try. Maybe I was too quick to like dismiss it. So maybe this is a sign that I need to try it again. Maybe? Yeah. I thought my battery was dying and I was about to snap. I was about to cut bitches. And then I have the Bye Bye Under Eyes Waterproof Concealer in Neutral Medium. This I am excited about. I had this in the wrong shade. But I really liked the formula of it. And I think this shade will be good for me. So can't wait and the last thing I have from them is the vitality lip flush in je ne sais quoi I love that name and this is like a it's like a very light pink but when you put it on when you put this on it kind of like I don't know it it like warms with the chemicals in your body and it turns pink so that's kind of an interesting product and it has like argan oil, shea butter, all these really good ingredients in it. So I'm going to keep that up here because I might use that tonight. So I have a brush from Crown. This is the C490 Duo Fiber Blush Blender Brush. So soft. All these brushes are like so soft and I love Duo Fiber brushes. So yeah, yeah. And then I have the, oh, this was from another booth. I have the Buxom, what is this? Just one of their full-on lip polish in the shade Kimberly. I don't think I have this one. Let's see. Oh, it's so pretty. Yay, it's pink and not black. Um, oh, and it has sparkle in it. I love sparkle lip glosses. Oh, it's like a super light. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that, but it's really pretty it's just like a light icy pink and it has a little bit of like silver shimmer in it yay and then i have the bare minerals marvelous moxie lip gloss i love these glosses this one's in the shade high roller it's a really pretty shade for summer it's like a coral red it actually matches my nails perfectly you guys know how that excites me very pretty shade and the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara. This is going in my giveaway because I tried this and I didn't love it. So I'm going to give it to someone else to see if they love it. And then a few things from Smashbox. I can't remember if I got these at Smashbox or if they came in this bag. I think they came in this bag. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter. These are the Photo Angle Pure Pigment Gel Liners. Oh my god, did you guys see that? Um, yeah, I'm not going to take them out of the box or anything, but these are an interesting product. I'm pretty sure, where did I see a video on these? I can't remember. But um, yeah, I suck at liner as it is, but I'm really excited to try these. Smashbox usually does really good makeup, so yeah. And then I have the Photo Finish Foundation Primer, just a little guide. This is really nice. I love Smashbox primers. And that is it for this guy. Wow, I feel like the video should be over and we're just getting started. I hope you guys grabbed a snack. I also have this little bag from Sephora. It came in our Ipsy bag, but this itself is from Sephora. It says, I would cry, but my mascara is designer, right? So cute. And inside of here, I don't know if these were the things that originally came in it, but I just kind of threw them in there. The It Cosmetics CC Cream, a mini one. Um, I think that IT Cosmetics, all the IT stuff that I just showed you guys, I think I got that the day of Gen Beauty, and I think this is what we got the night before. Again, it doesn't really matter, but if anybody's keeping track for some unknown reason. Um, CC Cream, just a mini size, same shade that I got before, medium. So I'll put one of these in the giveaway. And I have the new IT Cosmetics 
um, lipstick. This one's in the shade It Girl. It just launched on Saturday. It is a gorgeous, like super gorgeous. Wait till you guys see this. It's just such a pretty red shade. Yeah, nails. Oh, they match. So yeah, like I said, this just launched on Saturday. So it's Saturday. Sticky, 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 sticky. Oh, oh. Sephora gave us this little charger thing. I think that's what it is. I have to investigate, but it says power bank charger. Yeah. Um, and then they also gave us a Sephora eyeshadow in the shade Mermaid Tail. It's very, very pretty. A lip gloss. I think it's a gloss. Let's see what it says. Ultra Brilliance Ultra Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Pin Up Pink. Very cute. And then a little Bye Bye Under Eyes in neutral medium. Same as the other one. So that is that. Oh my goodness. And then I have more cargo, you guys. I know, we're going to be here for freaking ever. Um, I have the Better Than Waterproof Mascara, which I'm not going to open, but it's just a mascara. I have, I feel like Bob Barker, the Swimmables Eye Pencil in Black. So, again, just a black eyeliner. And then I have a brush. This is exciting. The Magic Eye Brush. So, it looks to be just like a little blending brush. I'm not going to take that out either. Sorry. Um, what is this? This looks exciting. Oh, what is this? The eyeshadow primer. I like their eyeshadow primer. <gasps> Yay. I had a little sample of this and it was really nice. Picture perfect eyeshadow primer. Speaking of eyeshadow primer, let me show you guys this. If I can find it in this disastrous mess. So while I was in LA, I realized that I forgot to take my MAC 24 hour extend eye base, which is the only eye primer I use. So I ended up using Manny's Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eye primer. Fell in love. I'm telling you it's like the exact same thing, but maybe even a little bit better than my MAC one. I know. So I ran out and bought it. I stopped at Sephora today and bought it. So good. Like I was such a big baby. Manny was like, just use my primer. And I'm like, it's not going to work. I'm so picky and I can only use the MAC one. And I tried it. Did not crease for like, I swear, like 14 hours. Amazing. Like I'm, I'm obsessed. Shall I say it? I'm obsessed. Okay, back to cargo. Um, I have another palette. This is the one that's really pretty. Summer in the City. Let me show you guys what she looks like. You know I already had to rip into it because I can't control my loins. Look how cute, right? <gasps> Wait till you guys see it. It's so pretty. Look at that. I love it. I hope it's good. I really want it to be good because it is so, Aww. it is so pretty. Okay, so that is that. If you guys want videos on anything, like I said, just let me know down below. We are getting there, I promise. Okay, so here's the Dermalogica stuff that they gave us. I have the Breakout Clearing All Over Toner and the Matte Moisturizer. Have you guys ever tried Dermalogica? I don't know that I've really ever heard much about them. I don't know. I'm interested to try these products. I have so many new things that I need to try. It's not even funny. And then Proactive also gave us, they gave us like this big box with these products, but I, of course, had to take them out of the box to get them home. The Redness Relief Serum, they gave us some makeup cleansing wipes, which I've heard are really nice. Um, what else do I have? The Complexion Perfecting Hydrator. I guess this is just like a moisturizer with salicylic acid in it. I don't really think that I need proactive because my skin doesn't really break out. So maybe I'll throw all of these things into the giveaway. Um, the pore targeting treatment. This I might like. I'm all about a good pore product. Anyway, a um, few more things from proactive. They really hooked us up. The advanced dark spot correcting serum. This I'm keeping because I do get hyperpigmentation and the Skin Smoothing Exfoliator. So that's awesome. Thank you so much to all of these brands. Like they were way too good to us. And then from Saint Tropez, we got the One Hour Tan. This I'm so freaking dying to put on my body, but I'm starting to get like a natural tan, so I feel like I don't need a self-tanner. 
but I really want to try this one. It's like one of their express ones. I think it's going to be really good. And I have the Bear Republic Natural Mineral Sunscreen. This is by the brand Kula. And I've heard really good things about this brand. And it's SPF 30, so yippee ki -yay, mother. What? And then Sephora gave us a Lotus Mask, which I'm putting on my face tonight because you guys know I love a good mask. And this one is moisturizing and soothing. My skin is like hating me right now from all the traveling. And then we got a little NYX bag, which I'm not going to go into. You guys have seen all of these products already on my channel. They just gave us a couple eyeshadows, a couple lippies, just like a little assortment of products. So, yeah. I'm going to put this in the giveaway, so it'll be a little surprise for you guys. And then I got two things from Lush, which I was so excited about. Angels on Bare Skin which is a face and body cleanser, but you guys look at this. Is that not so weird? It smells like a spa, but it has like little seeds in it. So weird, but Lush stuff is always so good. And then Life's a Beach Body Scrub. This smells like you're standing on the beach with your toes in the ocean. Oh my God, and it looks like sand. Can you see that? It looks like sand, it's so weird. Oh my God, it smells so good. Um, oh, I forgot to show you this Bare Minerals. They gave us one of their, oh, this is a little eyeshadow palette. For some reason I was thinking it was a powder. Let me show you guys real quick. Okay, what does she look like? Oh, pretty. This is also gonna go in the giveaway because I am overloaded with eyeshadows. So you guys are getting some good stuff in that darn giveaway. And there's a lot of stuff in there that I bought. So it's not just like swag. Because people get mad. I have the Chlorine Dry Shampoo, which is a really, really good dry shampoo. Used it before. I actually got a sample in an Ipsy bag and ended up really liking it. Yay. What? And then I have, oh, I have another one of those Smashbox liners. They must have given us all of the shades, maybe. Oh, you guys, look, I got China Glaze. Um, Manny gave me his because he's like, what the hell am I going to do with nail polish? So I have six new China Glaze shades, which I'm super excited about. Some of them I have, like Flip Flop Fantasy. Actually, I think I have all of them, but a girl always can use a neon backup, right? Am I right? Yes. Say it with me. Yes! Okay, we have come to the end of the bag. I have the Microdermabrasion Scrub from Derma E. Derma Doctors? No, Derma E. Um, yeah, okay, that was terrible. Um, and then I have a few things from Be A Bombshell. I'm not really going to go into these things. It's just like a couple little eyeshadows and a blush. I think all of these things are also going into the giveaway, so this will just be a little surprise for you guys because I still have more to show you. I know. I freaking know. Okay, so then on Monday night, or Tuesday night, sorry, Tuesday night, I was lucky enough to get invited to the Jouet Beauty Under the Stars dinner party that was held at Christina Zilber's house. Christina is the founder of Jouer Cosmetics. Um, she is one of the greatest people I've ever met in my entire life. Sometimes you just meet people that you totally just mesh with. I met her and something just clicked and we just hit it off. We laughed hysterically. This woman lives in a freaking mansion in the center of Beverly Hills and she is the most down to earth, just chill, just girl, woman. She is amazing. Like I fell in love with her. She threw this fancy, gorgeous, amazing, like perfect, everything, detail, lights, the pool, everything was just perfection. I am going to be doing a Jouer video. I feel like nobody talks about Jouer. I have a few of their products and everything that I own is really nice, 
but nobody on YouTube talks about it, so I'm like, we need to change that. I'm going to try the products, and if they're good, you guys are going to hear about them. I'm sure they're good, because she is phenomenal. So like I said earlier, I think I showed this to you guys, the Anti-Blemish Matte Primer. We got this in the big Ipsy bag that I just showed you guys, but I kind of just wanted to do it all together. I'm not really going to take it out. It's just a primer. Um, and then they gave us this box. So cute. It was wrapped so pretty with a bow, and of course I had to just like dive right into it. But they personalized it for us. Oh gosh. We took like a little quiz and they gave us this little card. Everything just like so much detail. So nice. So I have the Lip Sheer Sunscreen. Wait, what is this? I didn't I don't think I opened this one. I kind of dug through everything. Oh, I didn't see this one. This is a lipstick in the shade Lanai. Jenai. Oh god, my eyesight's going. Oh, it's so pretty. It's just a very neutral, like sheer. These are my favorite kind of lip products for every day. Just like a sheer, like balmy lipstick. Oh, and it smells good. Oh, Christina, I love you. I'm like so obsessed with her. She's just so freaking amazing. And then I have the Mineral Powder Bronzer and Suntan. This is actually one of the products that I own totally forgot I even had it. I used to love the hell out of this product like three years ago before I started my channel. It's such a nice bronzer. Totally matte. Look how nice. It's just like such a natural shade. Oh, I'm so excited for this. And then we got this little tiny cheek and lip tint in the shade Petal. Look at this thing. It is so cute, you guys. Look. It's like a cream cheek lip oh my god so adorable and then i have a cream eyeshadow in the shade cashmere yes i haven't looked at this yet let's hope it's pretty all of jouet's products are very like soft oh my god you guys this is so pretty look at this oh <gasps> what that is hella pigmented it kind of looks like bad to the bronze from maybelline Oh, I'm excited for this. How many times have I said excited? Guys, anybody keeping count? Somebody will let me know down below. Um, and then the last thing is the Everyday Effortless Mascara. I'm not going to take this out because I'm not ready to open it yet, but a mascara. And we also got this little bag. I love this makeup bag. I do not want to get anything on it because I'm like... Oh gosh, I need a wipe. Oh, I'm such a disaster. Okay, sorry, my battery died as I was wiping myself off. So we got this little bag. I swear this is like real freaking leather. It is so stinking soft. And it says ooh la la on it. It's really, really nice. And inside, we have more Jouer. So I have the Essential Lip Enhancer, which... One of the girls on the Jouer team was telling us this is her favorite Jouer product. So it's just like a lip balm, like a squeezy tube, but it's supposed to be really, really good. So you know this will be on my lips tonight, girl. And I have the Anti-Aging Moisture Primer. So excited. It's anti-aging. You know my old ass needs anti-aging. Yes, girl. Yes. And what is this? Oh my gosh, it's like Christmas. The Luminizing Liquid Highlight. You guys, you know I'm about that life. Oh, I didn't open this. What the heck? Oh, wait. This is like a... Does it twist? Oh, God. I'm going to break it. Oh, it's like a pen. Okay, we're going to see what she looks like. Oh, that's so like natural and pretty. I probably put it in the worst possible spot but you guys can kind of see it there oh yeah that's very nice and it feels really soft and this one's in the shade golden light wow <gasps> oh my god you guys this is seriously like stinking christmas okay and the last thing in here they actually color matched us at the dinner party on um, the matte moisture tint in the shade hazel so this is a foundation Ingrid from Miss Glamorazzi used to talk about this all the time. So when I heard that we were getting this, I was probably more excited than I should have been. But yeah, I think I'm going to do a first impression on this. 
crossing my fingers because I love Christina so much. I really want to love her products, but you guys know I will be honest. And Christine's so down to earth that she would understand if I didn't like something. But I really want to like them. So come on, Jouer. Don't do me wrong, Christina. Don't make me cut you, girl. Okay, so I think that's all that I'm going to show you guys. The only other things that I got, I went to a NARS event. But they just gave us three little, um, like, not sample products, but just little tiny, like, 100-point perk size products. And it was just an orgasm blush. Um, the eye primer, the, you guys know the eye primer that I used to use, the NARS Pro Prime, and I forget what the other thing was, but I don't have them up here, and it really wasn't anything, you know, super, like, off the wall, brand new. It was all products that you guys have probably seen before, and I know that we've been here for a really long time, so thank you guys so much for watching. I have missed you. I know I've said it, but I have to say it again. I have missed you guys. Thank you so much for being patient with me. So yeah, I love you guys, and I will see you all tomorrow. I'm like super animated, aren't I? I will see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Bye. One of my subscribers at Gem Beauty came up to me. She was the most adorable little thing. Thank you if you're watching. So cute. She gave me a rhinestone camel. Look at this. And it has a purple little saddle. Saddle? Saddle. So shut up. Right? Everybody shut up. Just shut up and look at it. Oh my god. So cute. I love it. I want to like snap his little legs off. Oh, love so much. Thank you. Who knows? Right? Where does this bitch get off? So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. Not, it's not, it, huh, get it out. <laughs> like, I will cut Manny's face off. Grandmammy is about to get a makeover. I'm gonna cut that bitch's face off. Too much? Yeah. <laughs> Too much, don't play hands. This one is really, really cute. Whoa. I didn't see it, but I sensed crazy eyes. His tail moves. Are you kidding my life right now? Oh my god, why is it so cute? We were in the grocery store, and the woman is like, you need to wear a turtleneck. And I was like, ah, bitch, no, you didn't. What did you just say? And Manny, like, falls out on the floor. Bad goes flying across the room. Caused a total scene in Vons. All because I had a green neck. Like, have you never seen anyone with a green neck before? Happens all the time. Bitch. Hey, you, and you. I'm filming and snapping and snapping and filming. <gasps> it's so exciting. Why do I do that every time? You need to get a new a gig. A new gig. Gig. I mean, I just, I'm swag filled. I'm like swag delicious. I'm trill tastic, right? Is that what it is? I'm trilling. Trilling like a villain. I'm so uncool, right? I try, I try. I'm gonna try again. Ready? Okay. I am swag delicious. I have a hangnail. If that's all that's wrong with your life, <gasps> it was more of like a bl <laughs> blown. What is wrong with your face? Do you not realize what you look like? I like looking like that. Right? Are my lashes not good though? <laughs> oh my god, I'm like a little chihuahua. <laughs> my camel is officially...